What is up, everybody? My name is John Hammond. Welcome back to another YouTube video. Still looking at the Google Catch the Flag competition, some of the beginner's quest challenges. Um, before I get started, I want to shout out to Live Overflow. I know I've been doing this literally all the time, but I uh, want to re reiterate, he's awesome. Um, was willing to hang out with me and play this Catch the Flag competition with me. Um, so if you haven't seen him on YouTube, check out his channel, and hopefully we'll be able to do some cool stuff together again really soon. Uh, so let's jump in. I wanted to cover uh, another beginner's quest challenge uh, up at the top here. Uh, this challenge is called firmware. It's a reverse engineering challenge, supposedly, but I don't really think so. Um, it's not classic reverse engineering. It's just messing around with a file system because of firmware. So let's go ahead and download this. I'll put this in GCTF, my folder for the game, and create a folder for the challenge itself called firmware. We can save the file. Let's go ahead and open up a terminal so we can see what we're working with here. CD into firmware. Um, let's see what this thing is. It's, again, a zip archive, as most everything we've seen so far. Let's call this firmware.zip. CD firmware, oh no, no I'm sorry. You, you don't want to CD into a zip archive, you want to unzip it. And we have challenge.ext4.gz. Let's gunzip that challenge.4. And this takes a little bit of time, but looks like it came back. So we have challenge ext4, and it is a file system. Um, I tried for the longest time to binwalk tack e this, uh, and I don't recommend it because it is literally unpacking a file system, and it took up a lot of gigabytes and like <laughs> stopped st took up all the space on my hard drive and stopped my screen capture while I was trying to cold uh, cold record and get myself going through the game live. So it. It warns you, large files, huge files, don't try and extract this thing. Um, so what I ended up doing was opening up uh, um, my file explorer, Nautilus, and I clicked on challenge.ext4. What you can do is you can right-click, and I wanted to try and mount it, I think. That's what I did. I didn't, I didn't end up going through this, no. What I did was I mounted it. I mounted challenge.ext4 onto media... John, uh, and I gotta run that as root, but it figured it out, cool, and then I went over to Media John, and now I have a file system, but when I looked at this and all the hidden files, I saw this interesting media PC backdoor.gz, so I tried to um, gunzip that. And I need to be root to do that because it's a new interesting place. Now, if I ls tag l or ls tag a, sorry, I have this file that we can cat out, and there's the flag, just like that. So weird challenge. Um, didn't end up extracting it, but ended up mounting it. Um, sorry, I kind of forgot it. And I looked at, at Nautilus. Normally, you can, if if you wanted to, you can try and mount it through the file system. Um, and through your file explorer in a GUI. But I did it just like that with the command line, and it was able to take an AOK -okay for me. So let's note that. The flag there. Let's go back to GCTF firmware. Take note of the flag in that, in that directory, and mark this challenge as complete. So not insanely difficult. Um, I didn't want to go down the rabbit hole or, or show you guys that rabbit hole um, when you look at the entire file system because I went into home for a while. There was nothing there. I tried to look around in the binary to see if there was anything there, um, anything out of ordinary. Um, but got to remember to check those hidden files literally everywhere. Um, even just control H when you got your file explorer open, it'll show you those hidden files. Um, and always be using ls -TAC A as uh, show all the hidden files because you have no idea what might be uh, trying to sneak under your nose. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you're enjoying this. I hope you're enjoying these videos. Uh, another shout out to Live Overflow, super cool guy. Check out his YouTube content. Um, if you're liking what I do, if you're liking this video, uh, please drop a like, hit that button. Um, if you're willing to write out a comment, let me know what you think, what else you'd like to see. Uh, it'd be awesome if you were willing to subscribe, and if, uh, that means the world to me. So, thanks again. See you soon.